Lobby Tools, legislative news and information systems on the web at lobbytools.com. Thousands of student athletes suffer concussions each year. Football, soccer, lacrosse, basketball. A vote for this today is voting for our student athletes. Now state lawmakers want to make sure a qualified doctor sees an athlete suspected of having a concussion before the coach sends them back in. And a repeat injury back to back can be detrimental. And a student athlete may never reach their full potential as far as education and uh, it could even lead to death in certain situations. Deciding which medical professional gets to say a kid's okay or isn't okay has been a sticking point in the past, and it's a sticking point this year. The legislation delegates the responsibility of who can diagnose a concussion and who can allow an athlete to resume play to the Florida High School Athletic Association. Activist Brian Pitts told lawmakers they were shirking their responsibility. You are the legislature. You're supposed to set the policy and guidelines. Chiropractors have been excluded from concussion decision making in the past. This time they're not, and for the first time they're supporting the bill. Because we have hundreds of doctors out there every Friday night that are volunteering their time to their communities to service team physicians. Are they qualified to diagnose a head injury? Yes, very much so. Very much so. But chiropractors are not included as members on sports medicine advisory councils, and keeping them out may may make passing the legislation more difficult. In Tallahassee, I'm Mike Vasilinda reporting.